Two three-phase banks of single-phase two-winding transformers are shown in the figure below, group alpha and group beta. Their connections to the primary phases are also indicated. Explain why you can or why you cannot connect them both in parallel. The rated values for one of the single-phase transformers of the top group, let's say this transformer here, are 300 kVA, that is the power rating of this one, 17.3 kilovolts, that is the voltage rating of this coil, 120 volts, that is the voltage rating of this coil here. The impedance short circuit of this transformer is J100 ohms measured on the high voltage side. For one of the transformers of group beta, this one, the ratings are 100 kVA, 10 kilovolts here on the primary, 208 volts rated voltage on the secondary, and J100 ohms measured on the high voltage side again. To connect them in parallel, we should check that they are of the same clock group, that they have the same single phase transformation ratio, and that they have the same pre-unit short circuit impedance. Let's begin with the clock group for the first one. The first group, the group alpha, has primaries connected in a Y and has secondaries connected in a delta. We write the connection is Y delta. For the primary in a Y, the standard connection is this. So we can label these as transformer X, transformer Y, and transformer Z. And the secondary voltages are in phase with those ones, but connected in a delta. Only two possibilities exist for the delta of the secondary, given the phases imposed on those three coils by the primary voltages, either this connection or that connection. Let's see which one we have. The tip of X2 is connected to the tail of Z2. Well, the tip of X2 would be this one, is connected in this case, to the tail of Y2, so this connection is not this one. Let's try again. The tip of X2 is connected to the tail of Z2. This is the connection. So this is the primary, and this is the secondary. Now, where is phase A of the secondary? Observe, at the tip of X2, at the tip of X2. So this is phase A of the secondary. And this has to be phase B and phase C of the secondary. And they comply Y2 tip. Y2 tip is by 2. Z2 tip is C2. Immediately, we realize this is not a standard convention. So this is a YD1. Hmm, that is not compliant anymore. So without doing anything to the connection proper, just by relabeling them and saying, this is going to be phase A of the secondary, phase B of the secondary, and phase C of the secondary, we have with the same wiring a compliant connection, which is YD5. YD5. Just by doing that, just relabeling. Let's do the relabeling in here. So this would be, instead of B2, would be A2. C2 would be B2. And A2 would be C2. Just by that relabeling, we have normalized this old connection. is a YD5. However, if you write YD1, you are correct. And you also get full marks. In either case, you get full marks. Let's see the second connection. In this group beta, the primary is connected in a delta and the secondary in a Y. Let's see what is the standard delta for the primary. This one. Between B1 and A1, we have the primary of transformer X. Between B1 and A1, we have the primary of transformer X. This is transformer X. Between C1 and B1, we have the primary of transformer Y. Between C1 and B1, transformer and this is transformer Z. With the primary connected in a delta only, two possibilities exist for the Ys of the secondaries imposed by the phases of the voltages in the primary. Those are shown here. Which one is the one represented by this connection? The dots 
are joined in together so it's not this one it's the second one according to this one a2 is the tail of the secondary of transformer x so this is a2 the tail of y2 is b2 and the tail of z2 is c2 in short this connection is dy5 dy5 the first one was a yd5 so far they seem to be connectable in parallel now we compute the single phase transformation ratio for alpha this could be computed as a neutral to phase voltage of the primary related to the neutral to phase voltage of the secondary or as a line to line voltage of the primary related to the line to line voltage of the secondary the line to line voltage of this primary will be root 3 times the voltage of one of those coils 17.3 kilos and the voltage line to line of the secondary because this is a delta is just 120 volts so that ratio of this bank is this is approximately 250 let's find the transformation ratio for group beta in this case the primary line to line voltage is the same coil voltage is 10 kilovolts but the line to line voltage of the secondary that is connected in a y is root 3 times 208 this ratio is 27.8 so they have different transformation ratios and should not be connected in parallel however some of you may have started by testing the clock group and then the short circuit impedance let's see how the short circuit impedances of these two banks compare to one another the short circuit impedance of any of these connections in per unit is the same one as a single phase transformer so for group alpha in per unit the impedance is 100 divided by the base impedance of this transformer this value was measured on the high voltage side so we use this voltage on the high side 0 0.1 let's find the per unit impedance of the second bank the per unit short circuit impedances of both transformers are the same the two banks meet two out of the three conditions to be connected in parallel but these are and uh, conditions if one of them is not met they cannot or they should not be connected in parallel which is the case they should not be connected in parallel thank you very much.